This looks like a newer 2013 Range Rover, but it's really an older 2005 Range Rover that we've transformed by installing a facelift body kit to update and modernize the look of the vehicle. In this video, we are going to review what we changed on the exterior, the interior, and go over how much it costs to do this type of conversion. The body kit is currently on sale by pre-order. We will indicate which parts are included in the body kit and which parts are not included. 2005 third generation L322 Range Rover model has a width of about 76 inches. We installed a 2013 fourth generation L405 style bumper, which is 78 inches wide. On the front end of the vehicle, we changed the bumper, the grill, the headlights, and the hood. All of these parts are included in the body kit. The front has been completely transformed and looks updated and new. And comes with all the trim pieces, skid plate, and vents. One issue is that the 2013 fourth generation L405 is wider by a couple inches than our base vehicle, which creates a very tight fit for all of the front end parts and some of the gaps below the headlight area. We tried to fill in these gaps by using weather stripping trim that is not included in the body kit we provide. Another issue is that the height fitment of the bumper, the way that the new bumper attaches to the frame of the older vehicle, it is in a lower position and the vehicle's ground clearance is reduced and the driver should be mindful of that for example clearing parking blocks while pulling in and out of parking spaces the grill is oem style and included in the body kit the fitment is good and helps update the look to the more modern style the headlights are oem style and included in the body kit the fitment is very tight since the L322 base vehicle is more narrow. We had to squeeze the headlights against the grill without any space in between the parts like on the L405 model. Another issue with the bumper being wider than the frame is that it creates extra space in the wheel well. That is subtle, but if you look at that area, it does look a little irregular. Installing larger 22 inch or 24 inch rims will help fill in that space and look more normal. The hood is a custom style and included in the body kit. The fitment is mostly good, but the bottom alignment is not perfect. If you look close, you can see some slight inconsistencies and in overlap over the grill compared to the hood fitment and alignment of the stock 2013 vehicle. The letters are not included in the body kit. We provide a link for our suggestions if you need it. Moving around to the side, we change the fenders, the mirror covers, pillar trim, front door vent, and quarter panels. The fenders are custom parts and are included in the body kit. The fitment is good and the style is simplified and modern. The side light indicator is removed. The vent on the fender is removed and the overall design is simplified into one piece. The issue is the alignment where the front of the fender meets the side edge of the front bumper. There is slight misalignment and overlap which might require some minor cutting and shaving of that area. The side mirror covers are not included in the body kit. The old Range Rover has flat black plastic that fades over time. We installed these gloss black covers to look like the newer updated model that has gloss black caps with a sleek light strip. The pillar trim is not included in the body kit. The newer Range Rover has seamless glass that looks very sleek. Our old Range Rover has flat black pillar trim between the doors that fades over time. We added gloss black trim pieces 
to update and modernize this area. The issue is that the gloss strips that we bought do not have a piece for the rear pillar, which would help complete the look. But overall, the strips provide help and help modernize and update the look. The front door vent is OEM style and is included in the body kit. The fitment needs to be more modified since the body lines on the old Range Rover are closer together. You may have a different idea on how to attach the vent, but we cut off the bottom portion to make the vent fit in between the body lines. The vent looks good to us. It adds a design element to this side area that would otherwise be plain. The issue is the side trim pieces are difficult to attach because they are not flat. So double-sided tape doesn't work well and the shape of the rear trim pieces doesn't fit our body kit design. When the latest Range Rover was recently released, the design was very minimalist and does not have these trim pieces. So we decided to go with a minimalist trend and not attach the side trim pieces. The quarter panels are custom parts that are included in the body kit. The fitment is good because the panel is able to be glued onto the body of the old Range Rover right below the top body line and blend in very well, allowing the newer tail lights to fit. The issue is that a small piece of the vehicle body must be cut out in order for the body kit parts to fit. Moving around to the back of the vehicle, we change the tail lights, the tail light trim, the spoiler, and the rear bumper. The tail lights are OEM style and included in the body kit. The fitment is good because it fits into place after attaching the quarter panels. It transforms the rear profile from the outdated squared halogen tail lights to the modern sleeker LED styled tail lights. The issue is that the old tail light is wider. So when we install the newer tail light, we have to fill in the empty space. We use the tail light trim, which is a custom part that are included in the body kit. The fitment is good, even though the appearance is different from the newer Range Rover rear, the newer Range Rover's rear end. It helps to modernize the entire rear end and starts to look normal the more you see it. The rear bumper is an OEM style part included in the body kit. The fitment is not perfect, but we don't mind the inconsistencies. Remember, the width of the two vehicles is different. The L405 model is a couple inches wider than the L322 model. So when we fit the L405 style bumper onto the L322 frame, the parts do not align perfectly at the seams. The alignment at the wheel wheel matches. The side of the bumper sits in a little from the quarter panel. The body line on the side of the vehicle is not continued on this rear section, creating a lack of continuity. The bumper has all OEM features, including removable tow hitch cover and sensor holes. Moving up, a new set of letters are not included in the body kit. If you require them after painting your vehicle, you can use our affiliate link in the description. In order to achieve a cleaner, simplified look, we removed the small piece of tailgate trim, the rear window seal, and the license plate lights. We left these areas plain similar to the newest Range Rover simplified styling. We filled in the license plate light holes with metal plates that we welded into place and painted over. Moving up, the spoiler is a custom part that is included in the body kit. The fitment is good and the part is aligned with the lines of the vehicle. The spoiler extends outward giving the vehicle a more modern look. There is a cutout hole where you can attach and reuse your original third brake light and it is visible like the newer Range Rover. The L405 spoiler is a two-piece style with a light bar as the entire lower half. Our custom part is one piece but we painted the lower half to look like two pieces. 
these are all of the changes that we made to the exterior of the vehicle. It is not a complete replica of the L405 model, but our goal was to update and modernize the vehicle by changing the notable and recognizable features. Before we take a look inside, if you are interested in purchasing the body kit, it is available for pre-order. First, just go to our website at faceliftbodykits.com. Second, click on the body kit section. Third, select the Range Rover L322 option. The body kit is 7,500 US dollars, not including taxes, shipping, installation, or paint. Fourth, click pre-order now. You only have to pay the 10% pre-order fee, which is refundable in order to be given the opportunity to make a purchase when we start production. Five, click checkout. Fill in your personal information and billing details. Six, click place order now. Seven, create a custom account so that you can return to pay your remaining balance when production starts. Remember to write down your username and password. To learn more about our order process, visit our About Us page and click on the Learn section. First, we collect pre-orders, which takes several months. Second, we start production for fully paid customers, which takes several months. Third, we ship your order, which takes several months. Moving to the interior, none of these items are included in the body kit you must purchase all of them separately links in the description a custom land rover sunshade to help keep the vehicle cool and protect the older interior from gradual sun damage upon entering the vehicle the first thing we changed was the key fob the l322 key is old and outdated and has a visible key exposed the newer L405 version is sleek, smart, keyless design. We upgrade it to a flip key that has a modern design and the physical key is hidden until you need it. We added a door seal that greets you when entering and exiting the vehicle. This is a modern touch found on the newer L405 model but does not come on the older L322 model. So we added a shiny chrome option that the Range Rover name displayed for the front and the rear doors. We changed the radio infotainment system. This is the biggest change because technology becomes obsolete over several years and makes the vehicle look very outdated. We added a Jensen stereo that is a touchscreen, has Bluetooth, a backup camera, USB playback and charging, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and it looks very modern and transforms the interior to a modern feel. The only issue is that our steering wheel radio controls do not work anymore, and we have to control everything through the stereo unit. We also changed the armrest knobs to more modern upscale look. The older L322 model has standard flat black knobs, and we changed them to a heavy chrome a nice black rubber knob that is small but noticeable. We added cup holders since the older L322 doesn't have any logos in this area. We added a custom Range Rover logo cup holder to show extra attention to detail. We added ambient lighting since the older L322 model does not have any. The newer L405 model has a variety of dynamic ambient lighting settings which help set the mood we added lighting strips in several key places to help spread the light out and give off a similar mood setting ambiance 
changes the feel in the vehicle when it's dark. Another subtle change that we made is adding Range Rover logo projector lights. The older L322 model only has plain courtesy lights. The L405 comes with a logo light. This is an easy way to modernize something that is noticeable when seen. We also added a USB plug. This is a minor addition, but very convenient because having the ability to charge the latest tech is important. Before we calculate the cost of the conversion, if you are interested in any car related products or services, go to our website at faceliftbodykits.com, go to the affiliate products tab and click on the type of products you're interested in. Also, if you're interested in any services, including applying for vehicle credit, shopping for used vehicles, car insurance, vehicle history, or extended warranties, please locate your country and consider using our affiliate links. Let's do the numbers. A used L405 can be purchased on the low end with high miles for around $30,000 US. A used L322 can be purchased on the low end with high miles for around $8,000 US. The body kit cost $7,500 US. Shipping is about $500 depending on your location. Installation costs vary. We recommend hiring a professional installer because the body kit requires custom brackets to be made and wiring. We estimate the cost at about $1,000. Paint costs vary. We paid about $1,000 plus all of the additional exterior and interior items and upgrades that we installed on the vehicle add up to about $1,000. Total cost is about $19,000 compared to $30,000. If you already own an L322 model, then your cost would be about $11,000 compared to buying an L405 for about $30,000. In 2018, the L405 style was updated with a slightly sleeker modern lights and aesthetic. When you pre-order this body kit, we will automatically update your order to the 2018 style at no additional charge. This means that at the same price, you will get twice the value because the 2018 style 405 vehicles are selling for about $60,000 on the low end with high miles compared to our facelifted vehicle for less than $20,000. We are in the process of filming a review video of the 2018 style body kit installed on an L322 vehicle. It should be coming soon along with other exciting designs. So subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching.